Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm back with another workbook workshelf Wednesday video. This week we will be going over some um, bird or spring themed learning activities and notebook activities. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, so jumping right in, I know it's been a while since I've done a workbook workshop Wednesday. If you follow me on Instagram, um, on Instagram, I'm half mom underscore half amazing. And you can see detailed day by day posts of what I'm doing with my two and three year old and what I'm doing with my six year old every single day almost. So stop on in over there. You'll see the activities that we're doing. So even if I don't do an actual workbook workshelf Wednesday, you can still see the activities and the themes that we're doing. A, a couple of weeks ago, we did a space theme, which was so much fun. But since we did all the activities, I've already put that away. So if you go on my Instagram account, which is half mom, which is one word, then underscore half amazing you will see um, everything that we have been doing while I've been away from YouTube. And I definitely encourage you, if you are a homeschooling mom, to jump on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram yet, it's a great way to connect with people who are doing what you're doing. I actually starting to prefer Instagram over Facebook because I've been actually networking with moms who are you know, mom, mom entrepreneurs who are trying to start their businesses, who are homeschooling, who are, you know, pro mom, mom life, family, stuff like that. So definitely hop on there. So, okay, enough with my rambling. I just want to jump on in. So again, I will link these activities of printables in the description box below. Um, in the workbook, I have a few activities that are from, um, homeschoolcreations.com and most of these activities come from this printable which is a bird themed printable and as you can see this one is about um, following the directions to find the right picture so circle the bird that is between the bird feeder and the bush um, and they would pick the one that's the bird that is between the bird feeder and the bush and circle the bird that is flying next to the tree so you would pick the bird that's flying next to the tree again I put mine in again um, these page protectors so the kids can use dry erase markers on those. Um, word matching. So I would just say, hey, this word says bird. Can you point to the bird? He'd point to the bird and then I'd have him draw a line between the word and the picture. Um, this is good just for them to get that recognition of the word to understand, you know, the, the combination of letters create different words. Um, start sounding them out. Nest. This says nest. N-E-S-T. N-E-S-T. And then say, can you point to the nest? And have him point to the next, and they connect it. Um, and here, this one is a puzzle. Um, I'm sorry, not a puzzle, but a maze that you can sit down and do with them as well. So this printable has lots of activities that you can add to your workbook just to update it for the season and keep those around for a couple of weeks in there, aside from your basic everyday ABC, one, two, three, name, um, days of the week, stuff like that. Um, bird themed math pretty much I made another one of fi my file folder games I will do a video on how to make how to turn printables into a file folder games that are durable and functional um, I always include a pocket to include the parts to the file folder game in them because I just feel like it's really helpful for me and I like to laminate my file folder some people don't go that extra mile but I do because I know I have two little ones that are going to be using these um, for a couple of years so I want to make sure that they're durable so this one is for math and I have the pieces in here but pretty much I just want to open it up and show you. This one is one more. So what you do is you roll a die and you have the child select the number that is one more than the number that is rolled. And then you can just go ahead and cover that number using 
any number of things. These um, gems are really always in the Dollar Tree that you can use. I like these because they're larger, um, especially for covering larger numbers like this. Um, and, uh, you know, the nice color variety actually goes well with this printable. As if that mattered, but I like things to match. <laughs> so this is one more, and then the same concept over here for one less. You'll have them roll the die, and then you'll have them select the number that is one less. And on the back here is a greater than, less than activity. More, less, and equal. And the pieces to this, I included in the pocket that I made in the front so there are little greater than less than and equal sign pieces in there um, as you can see that I pretty much just printed them out stuck them on some cardstock cut them out and I'm gonna actually go and laminate these pieces as well um, but that's one file folder game this one is a file folder game with label the bird so again I'll have I have the pieces inside in a folder and you would have them label leg, you would have them label wing, tail, beak. Um, what starts with the B sound and then again I have, the glue is still drying on this one, but I have the pieces of things that start with the letter B and some don't and so you would put them out and have the child select. After I laminate this I will put the velcro sticky dots on there as well so that the child or my child or whoever's child that could use this will be able to select them and put them here. Say and clap. This is for syllables so I have words that are one syllable and two syllable that are related to birds. Bird feeder, bird house, I mean feeder, house, bird, tree, nest. So you would have the child clap out the amount of syllables in the word. So nest would be one and feeder would be two, things like that. And again, those pieces are included in this little pocket that I have secured onto the inside of the file folder. And then finally, what comes next? Again, these pieces are also included, so it's another pattern activity. I'm really loving the file folder system right now, and the way I make them, I find that they work really well because they're durable, and the pockets really help keep everything in order. Here's another activity that I printed off. We did not use this one yet today um, because I need to go get more clothespins. I've been using clothespins for everything. So I need to get new clothespins from the Dollar Tree. And simple, it looks as it is. Here's a little bird. They're so cute. They're so cute. One through ten, and what you do is you add the feathers, which are really the, um, the clothespins onto the bird. So I'd put, they'd have them put one clothespin on the one bird, so on and so forth, up until the number ten. Um, and I will show you how I store these um, in a little while. Another activity where I'm using the glass beads, and this is from the measuredmom.com. Again, I'll insert the link in the description box below. Same concept, one through 10, these are all nests. I just glued them on some green cardstock, and what I'll do is I'll go back and laminate them, since we'll be using these for a couple of weeks, and I'll just have each child take his turn and put the appropriate amount of eggs or glass beads in the nest and what you can do is you can do skip counting with this you can do addition with these it's really great for them to just have that one-to-one -one correspondence and that hands-on um, fine motor skills hand-eye coordination and putting it in trying to fit them all in <laughs> because you can get crazy and the basic math concepts that go along with this this is an activity we actually did today which we did Q is for quail our letter of the week was Q for my two and three year old, so we did Q is for quail. This you can find on Pinterest. I simply saw it on Pinterest and just freehanded, cut them out. I went the extra mile by add, having them add the little puffy balls on there and to count the pom poms as they put them on. And we actually used tongs, the dollar store plastic tongs, which I don't have on the table right now, just to, I put the glue dots on there and they would put them one by one with the tongue onto the glue dot just to practice those fine motor skills. So Q is for quail, which is a bird, so that goes along with the whole bird and egg theme. And these are the little um, dollar store fuzzies that I used with them. They come in a variety of colors. Um, and this is what I stored it in. Here's a sensory bin um, of literal, just all, pretty much all Dollar Tree items and some things we actually brought from indoors. This is an actual real bird's nest that we found last year, just chilling outside. So this is a real bird's nest. 
on top a bed of moss, which you can get from the Dollar Tree, and there's rocks and pebbles and all kinds of things. Very natural, a very natural um, a sensory bin. I got pine cones, a few pine cones are in here as well. Inside these um, eggs, some are empty and some actually have some of the glass beads. Some of them have smaller pine cones inside and some of them have, there's a number of things that could be inside. Either they're empty or they have little items inside which was, makes this even more interesting for the kids to explore and shake and try to figure out which ones are empty, um, try to guess what's inside the egg before they actually open the egg, count the items that they find inside. Um, sort the items that they find inside and things of that nature. And the last activity that I have, so I'm sure you've probably seen this all over Pinterest. Everyone's using these eggs from the Dollar Tree for a variety, variety of things. What I did was an uppercase and lowercase match game. So that's pretty much it. I used um, packing labels and I wrote the uppercase letter on one side of it, lowercase label on one side and I secured it to the egg. They stay on pretty well. I didn't want to actually write on the egg because I want to reuse these eggs for a number of things. So in this container, these are ones that they have not paired off yet. So in one container I have those that I ha they haven't matched up yet and then I have another container for the one that they have already done. So uppercase and lowercase Q, uppercase and lowercase H, all the letters of the alphabet, uppercase and lowercase, good for the fine motor skills and for the uppercase, lowercase recognition. As as and as they're putting together, I ask, what does the Q say? And they'll say qua, or what does the H say? And the H says huh, you know, things like that. So these are the um, springtime bird themed activities that I have found and come up with, and. Um, I will definitely link the printables in the description box below, and I hope you guys are enjoying your spring. Okay, guys. See you next time. Bye.